Okay, today we're going to talk about how to uh, use the rooms. Many times uh, people purchase the, uh, the combination program, which is three brandable rooms or ten brandable rooms uh, for the $35 or $99 a month. And if you purchase these, many people want to be able to share that room with a friend of theirs. They want to know how to do that. So that's what this is all about. So the first thing you need to do is go to vercast.com, then click on Member Login. Once you click on member login, you'll be able to see what type of program you have. And obviously I have 10 webinar rooms with 500 attendees per room. And what you want to do is you want to click on my webcasts. Now, as you can see here, I've got several webcasts. When you first do this, you won't see anything in here. You'll just see the word new to create a new webcast. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. Click on new webcast. And inside new webcast, you have different moderators. and one of the things you want to do is you need to create a moderator to allow them to have access to this particular room. And to do that, you click on Manage Moderator. So let's do that next. And we want to add on a new moderator. So obviously here I've got several moderators. We're going to click on a new one. We'll name this one Big Joe. Okay. Email is uh, demo at demo1234.com. One thing that I want to re recommend that you do, because we do allow only one email per customer, let's assume that you have a friend and you and your friend are, are owners of a web room and you want to be able to also be moderators of each web room. Well, you need to use different email addresses in order for it to work or it will kick out. We don't do anything with the email addresses. In fact, we're probably going to get rid of that that line here. But you do need to put in an email address at this time. Just make it up because it's not necessary and it's not used at all. So username is Big Joe. Email address is made up, and we're going to do a password of one two three four five six seven. One two three four five six seven. I'm going to delete this anyway. So if you try to get in here, you won't be able to. All right. The name is Joe, and the surname is say Smith. So Joe Smith and this is the way he gets in. Username Big Joe and then the password. You'll see that in a little bit. If you want to put any notes in here for Big Joe you could do that. Uh, you could actually add an avatar as well so that when uh, Big Joe's in the room on the right hand side for attendees you'll be able to see a picture of him. So let's just do that now as an example. We click on browse and I'll just add a picture here. All right, so what I've done is I put in the username and a made-up email address, a password. We're talking about English, by the way, just to let you know, if you uh, speak French, German, Russian, or Spanish, you could actually click on one of these, and everything would convert to that language that you check. Joe Smith has an avatar, uh, excuse me, an avatar, and we're going to click on Submit. Okay, we're not quite done yet. If we want to go into Big Joe and take a look at it, we can edit this. We don't need to edit this right now. It's all set. It's not disabled. Right here is the button that says permissions. As, as you see, when you hover over different areas, we have a pop-up. That says permissions. This says delete. And this says to edit the account. So we want to actually check out the permissions for Big Joe. And these are the permissions. Big Joe can change the skins. They can manage skins, meaning they can change the look and feel of the webcast. They can start a webinar, meaning that uh, the webinar never does not begin as a started webinar. The webinar begins as uh, it's locked to any new attendees. Well, this person, Big Joe, can unlock that webinar. They can change the webinar skin, so they can manage the skin, they can change the skin, and they can view the webinar information. And what I mean by that, they'll be able to provide you with a link. So when you look for webinar information, you can see what the link is, so the person moderating here can edit that. Now, if you want to give this to, if you want to give a room to a friend of yours, you want to allow to give them more flexibility. You might want to have them be able to create a webinar session, uh, delete a webinar session, create a webinar, delete a webinar, all these different manage participants, a whole bunch of things you can do. But for now, we'll just leave it as it is, and we'll click on submit. Okay, so now let's go back to uh, my webcasts. And as I mentioned earlier, what we need to do is we need to create a, a webcast. So the first thing that you need to do when you want to add 
a new customer or a friend of yours to be able to have access to a web room, you need to create the moderator. They are now a moderator for a webcast. And then you need to create a new webcast. Or you can add Big Joe to any of these webcasts that you've already created. Right now we're going to create a new web room. It's going to be a public web room. And we're going to click on Big Joe. And we have all these different skins that we can use. We'll use Fancy because I'm Fancy. Uh, you can have an exit webinar, exit to a certain URL. Uh, you can add a logo. You can add all these different this different information in here. This is a webinar. This is a webinar for Big Joe. And you can do a whole bunch of different things in here. Center it. Uh, increase the font size or change the font and increase the size to large. All right, there you go. This is a webinar for Big Joe. Click submit. Okay, I forgot to put in the webcast name. Oopsie. We'll call the website name Big Joe. And we'll click submit. All right, this a uh, Big Joe. Let's, let's edit that because we can click hover over here and edit that and submit okay that's better now in order for you to give this information to Big Joe you need to let Big Joe know how to get in well this is how you get into the webinar you let Big no Joe know that to get in this is all he needs to type in Okay, the right up to 8081. I'm going to put this right up here. So once you type in that link right here, all Big Joe needs to do is go into, uh, you need to give Big Joe his pet username and password. His username was Big Joe. And the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So you can email Big Joe this information, and Big Joe can get into that webinar or webcast and do whatever he wants to. Start the webinar, modify some skins, edit it any way that you want to allow him to edit it, and he'll have full access as moderated to the room. To prove that, let's go and create another room. I'm just going to open up a brand new browser. Let's uh, shrink this down a little bit. Okay, I've just opened up a brand new browser. And here's a way that you can do this. First thing I want to show you, as you can see, this is the link right here. Big Joe, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here is another way that you can do this. Or just go to www.vercast com and then click on member login okay so let's do that right now so we can show you how that works I'm gonna type in vercast I'm now in the vercast page I'm just gonna refresh everything just so you can see that I'm reloading it here member login you type in the word Big Joe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and click on login. Now, Big Joe it says you can create 10 webinars for each, I guess. <laughs> Let's see what he has. My webcast. Um, I don't know why it says that because it's not really true because <laughs> you really can't create 10 webinars. Maybe because that's associated with me. All he can do is he clicks on my webcast and all Big Joe can see is that one webcast that I allowed him to see. Now let's show you this. Let's do this again. I'm going to go to my account. See all the webcasts I can see. These are all the different webcasts that I can see, and I can go into there and edit anything, right? Now let's say that I wanted to give Big Joe access to the Vercast Super Special Deal. I could actually go into uh, Edit this webcast and add Big Joe to it, and click on Save or Submit. Now that I did this, I can go all the way back into here 
Take a look at Big Joe. If I refresh this, which I'm going to do right now, what should happen is that I should have two webcasts that I can modify, edit, and become moderator for. And there it is, right? The Big Joe. So again, if you have 10 webinar rooms and you want to be able to give one webinar room to a, a friend of yours or a peep of yours, you can certainly do that by following those instructions that I just gave you. And all you need to do is let them know that you've set them up for the web room. And all they need to do is go to vercast.com, click on member login, and enter in the username and password that you gave them. I hope you guys found this helpful. Thank you.